I'm so grateful for those who did not give in to cynicism or doubt or fear or hatred, but still believed in America. Langston Hughes probably didn't think that early in the 21st century, we would actually elect an African-American president, but his poetry speaks to America's conscience and their desire to make our country real. He wrote, oh, let America be America again, the land that never has been yet, but yet must be, the land where everyone is free. Who made America? Whose sweat and blood, whose faith and pain, whose hand in the foundry, whose plow in the rain must make our mighty nation real again. Oh yes, I say it plain. America never was America to me, but I swear this oath, America will be. We. who've inherited this legacy. We now, who drank deeply from wells of freedom we did not dig. We now, who eat fruit from trees that we did not plant. We who eat bountifully from the harvest from soil that we did not till or work. We Americans have no right to indulge in negativity or cynicism or doubt we must be believers in the dream. We must participate in the traditions of our nation that have secured us in the darkest of times and help us to endure to proud days such as this. To those electors now that gather in Trenton, as so many great bodies of people have done from Washington's army all the way to our legislature who is meeting right now. To you electors, I give my gratitude for being willing to participate, to be willing to step forward, to be willing to believe in our highest ideals. To the young people gathered in this hallowed hall, I call on you to keep the torch alive. We are now on the verge of one of the most difficult economies of my lifetime, but we must keep the torch alive. There are still people in this nation who go to bed in fear of not being able to pay medical bills or get food on their table for their children. We must keep the torch alive. There are men and women right now facing death in foreign lands for a war that to most of us does not make sense. We must still keep the dream and the torch alive. It is only through your constant determination, your unyielding faith, your daring dreams of what our nation can and must be, will our country continue to live up to our hopes and to our dreams and to the desires of even the most vulnerable members within our nation. This spirit, the spirit of New Jersey, the spirit of America, will ensure that the corpus of our country, the body politic, though scarred and bruised, though sometimes fallen, this spirit will make sure that we continue to stand tall, that the truth does go marching on, that our nation will become more perfect, and that we will elevate further closer to our divine calling. I end simply with this. When Washington did rout the Hessians and achieve the first great battle in the Revolutionary War, it is said that he reached over and grabbed the hand of the first soldier he said, and he uttered words that are just as meaningful to me on this important day. He looked at that young soldier at the dawning of our nation and said, this is a glorious day for America. Thank you.